Good day people, Cass here and this is a short update video because Oculus quietly released an update that allows you to use USB 2.0 cables for Oculus Link. And that works with even the Oculus Quest charging cable that came with it. So this is good news because that means that anyone who buys an Oculus Quest headset now can play PC VR games out of the box. Well, if they have a gaming PC or laptop at least. This kind of came out of nowhere so I did some testing and here are the results. If you like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing if you haven't yet and now join me beyond reality. So if you're new here, Oculus Link is the software update that allows you to play PC VR games like Half-Life Alex on your standalone Oculus Quest headset and it's been pretty great. So this is my Oculus Quest charging cable. This is the cable that came in the box when I got my Oculus Quest. It's a USB-C to USB-C 2.0 cable. All right, so let's plug it in so I can show you that it works. So the first end of the charging cable goes into the headset, of course, and then I'm going to put it in the USB-C slot of my motherboard here. All right. Now on the Oculus app on my PC, it will now show that it is connected and active, as you can see here. It will also give you this orange icon indicating that a USB 3 connection is recommended, but it doesn't say that it's not compatible anymore. Okay, so let me put on the Oculus Quest headset with the cable connected. And as you can see, the enable Oculus link uh, pop-up is here. I'm going to press enable. And uh, here we are in my PC VR library. So I plug this in the USB-C slot of my motherboard, but I've also tried the virtual link slot of my graphics card and both work splendid. And the image quality looks the same as with USB 3.0 cables as expected, since the software is compressing the PC VR gameplay that's sent through the cable. It's compressed down to a speed that doesn't even come near the maximum speeds of USB 2 cables. I explain all this in uh, more detail in my official Oculus Link review video. I will link this video in the description in case you are interested. This explanation is around the 3 minute mark. I do wonder now if this means that we are getting a bandwidth upgrade for USB 3 cables now. I really hope so. Before we move on, don't forget to leave me a like, it will help me out a lot. Thank you. Of course, there's a disadvantage of using this cable and that is that this cable will try to charge while playing PC VR games, but it won't be enough and your battery will go down. I also tested it with a random USB-C to USB-A cable that I used for the charging of my phone and that works as well and it looks the same. I also put this cable in an extension cable which again works. My extension cable is a 3.0 one, but I did put the cable in a USB 2 slot of my PC. I'll put a link to my extension cable below in case you are interested. Lastly, I tried a USB-C to USB-A adapter, however, I could not get this working. Now, you probably do need up-to-date software to get this working. This is the Oculus app version I'm using on my PC, version 17. I'm not in the beta or also known as the public test channel. As you can see here, it's toggled off. My Oculus Quest version is version 16. If your version is the same or higher, then this should work. So there's a chance that Oculus hasn't announced this yet or updated their pages because it isn't stable yet. Who knows? I also only tried playing for short periods of time, so not sure how this works during longer play sessions. However, in my opinion, this update is great because this means no more struggles with finding the right cable since you will get one straight in the box. This also means we get the option to just get a USB 2 cable, at least until we get a bandwidth upgrade. And that's nice because USB 2 cables are usually cheaper. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it out and uh, to help others out, why not let us know what cable works for you. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and a special thanks goes to my right hand Patreon member, Paxon VR. He makes YouTube videos too, if you want to check that out. And as always, VR on!